Benvenue Europe, Mitchell Trench calling, and welcome to today's door where we look at 23rd favourite. Remember, 39th favourite is my least favourite. First is the one I want to win this year in 2013, Malmo Sweden. We're looking at final entries, my final predictions, and we're looking at 23rd, which is the former Yugoslav Republic of Macedonia. <laughs> Yes, the FYR of Macedonia. So we're looking at the song that's called Predase Raz Deni. Um, the artist is Esma and Lozano, and the song is in Macedonian and Romani. So let's have a look at the song and a review. Original video down below. Subscribe if you want more reviews. So it starts off and you're like, typical boring song. <laughs> no, you, it starts off and you're like, oh, no, I think it's going to be nothing soon. And then he goes, I think that's amazing. That's a great, great voice there for a male. Good male voice. Good answer. And I love the piano with the voice. If you ever gathered I'm a piano fan, I think we need to bring back piano into our contemporary music. It's all beats. Bring back a piano. Went from beats to guitar. No, went from piano to guitar to beats. And then there's like this random woman. <laughs> Red the body again! I would just say this in the last video. Greece. Okay, let's let's do a tally. Yeah. Yeah. Greece. Oh, Greece. Um, Switzerland and the FYR. The backing singer, the one on the right in the black dress, is so beautiful to sing. You're out there, hi. He's very underdressed. The the woman thing is like in some Macedonian festivities. Macedonian is actually one of my favourite Eastern European languages. I think it sounds probably the nicest out of all of them. I like, I like this song. I'm not over the top about it, but I like it. Even the old woman has a purpose, and that backing singer is so pretty. She better be in the performance. She kind of looks like Mila Kunis. Why would they do a close-up on a fallen mic? Sometimes I don't, I think they think that, oh, this, this means something. It doesn't. I like it. But like I said, I don't love it. But I like it enough for it to make the finals. They've done well. They're good singers. It's just... I like that last bit. Um, but, yeah. I mean, it's... They're great singers. I just think that the actual layout of the song is non-critical. People are not going to appreciate it that much. And the fan, you know, people aren't, it's not one of those songs that everyone's going to be walking around and singing, you know, singing along to and it's going to get stuck in your head. It's not. It just isn't. And that's why people aren't going to vote it enough to win. I think it'll be popular with the Eastern European countries. Remember, they've had a lot of lo loss this year. Uh, the Eastern European countries have to fight and work just as hard 
um, this year not only has Slovakia withdrawn, Bosnia and Herzegovina have withdrawn, and that's a big deal. Turkey has withdrawn as well, as well as Portugal, but the three of them are kind of in the eastern part, and they had a big influence on the others due to the block voting, evil block voting. But anyway, um, that's really it. We're getting... <laughs> These videos are going to get shorter because I don't have to elaborate and try and explain myself on um, being mean. <laughs> because I appreciate these songs. I mean, it's a good song. I just don't think it's written well enough, you know, to be hit on the radio like Euphoria was or like Satellite, Running Scared. If you notice, the songs that have won in these past couple of years, they're really hooky really hooky and people walk down the streets and go, oh yeah, I know the song, you know, da 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 da, you know, I'm running up scared tonight. <laughs> um, you know, and what was the last one? You are real. <laughs> ah, that's code for my computer's going to run out of battery. So, um, catch me tomorrow for the next day. We look at 22nd. Until then, bonsoir. Bye.